Good morning everyone and welcome back. Today I will be addressing the yellowing of my plants. So now I noticed this on my strawberry plants, my pumpkin plant over there, and a few others. Um, there we go. That is a Brussels sprout plant that's growing but it's also yellowing. So now if a few of my plants are suffering in some sort of nutrients, chances are they're all suffering in some of some sort of nutrients. So I did look into what could be the problem and I found this cool chart. Uh, it gave me different options of what could be the problem. Could be magnesium, iron, or nitrogen. So now I don't want to add metals like you know, uh, for example, magnesium or iron, uh, simply because I have freshwater clams and freshwater mussels. So I threw some in the deep end and I had thrown some over here in the shallow end. So I went ahead and already found one. As for the clams, uh, I wasn't able to find any over there, so my guess is that they probably got pushed and ended up here in the deep end. This is where I got my freshwater mussels from. Just make sure you do some research, uh, read the care sheet or the care guide. That way you know you what you're getting yourself into. As for the freshwater uh, clams you can get them off of eBay sometimes even your local pet shop might have them uh, but overall both of these do help to filter your pond water so one of the problems or I guess solutions or things I look uh, was able to find was that there might be too much vegetation so over there, there was a ton of hornwort, or I think it's also called coontail, I can't remember. Uh, online, there's like different names for it. So I went ahead and I tossed a bunch of it on this side, as well as threw a bunch of the duckweed over here, and their fi the fish are slowly eating it. So another issue that I saw was that it could be algae. As you can tell, there's algae growing on the side, but there isn't a lot of it in, uh, in the water that's preventing visibility. Uh, more in the afternoon, once the sun, you know, hits it just right, you can see all the way to the bottom. As it is now, let me see, kind of hard to tell. We can sort of make out the bottom. Um, so, what I found was that I can fix the nitrogen levels a couple of different ways. One is add more fish, which I don't want to do that because I don't want them to be cramped. Another option was give them more food so they produce more waste and the plants can eat from it. So I don't wanna do that either, simply because I don't wanna end up overfeeding them. That might affect the health of the fish. Another option was get rid of a lot of the vegetation. A lot of my plants, which that's most likely what I'm going to do since I was planting multiple plants per net cup. just as an experiment to see how things worked out but i guess all the plants need nutrients so they're all taking their fair share but it's not benefiting the whole uh my last option that i saw was or that i thought of was i can add some of these guys to my pond
keep in mind that the seaweed extract can be added to an to a hydroponic system the only problem with me is I have fish so I don't know how they will react to it so now if you know what you're doing you have the experience and knowledge you're going to do what you want to do regardless of what people tell you in my case I don't know what I'm doing this is just an experiment to see how things work out now I did buy the water tester pH and nutrients and nitrogen or all that different kind of all, this little kit that will test for different things in the pond uh, but it won't be here till a couple days from now but I don't want to wait you know that long so that's the cool thing about you know living is that you get to experiment try things out see if they work out or not you know as they say live and learn so in my case I have an idea of what I'm doing uh, but I don't know what I'm doing so don't try this at home unless you know you know what you're doing so that's just you know uh, my fair warning so for fish fertilizer uh, I take that as fish poop so instead of giving them more food adding more fish so they can produce more waste I'll just give them you know fish poop now I'm not gonna give them a whole lot just enough to see how the plants react to it because I could end up killing the fish same thing with that guy the seaweed extract I'm gonna give them just a little bit to see how things work out so really quick I want to touch up on the 511 the MPK the 5 stands for nitrogen that is what plants need to grow healthy leaves or new leaves and keep their leaves green the first one is phosphorus i believe uh, that helps for the development of roots flowers and fruit the last one is the overall health of the plant the way i see it is sort of like your circulatory system you know blood goes everywhere helps you stay healthy and so on and so on so this last number will help the leaves process the sunlight into energy so sort of like solar panels and it'll help the roots you know do its thing absorb whatever food it needs from the water the soil um you name it so i'm going to try these out and see how they work out as for my plants i'm going to go ahead and get started and start leaving one plant per net cup and see if that solves the issue now really quick the whole thing about the algae in the plants i uh, i did have a uh, almost ate that one uh uv sterilizer uh, but I removed it a long time ago and I haven't used it since uh, The reason for being is because I don't want my plants or little water fleas uh, Whatever little animals I have in here to end up dying uh, The other option that I saw online was add copper copper will kill the algae but it will, it will also have an effect on your plants and animals, especially uh, the freshwater clams and freshwater mussels. Copper will kill them. Um, just a heads up on that one. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's view or show. Thanks everyone.